Welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today, I'm finally giving you guys the review you've been asking for, the Makita. It's the XCU08 model. It's the 36 volt brushless, uh, 14 inch bar, 3 8 pitch, uh, what's that, 043 climbing chainsaw. This is the one I've been using primarily as my climb saw for the last Oh, eight months almost now. And so I've got quite a bit of experience with it and I'm happy to tell you about it. Here we go. All right, so this is the basic saw. There's not a whole lot to say about it. Any of you guys who've used electric saws, it's pretty similar to everything else on the market. It has a little bit of a cheaper feel underneath the clutch cover here. The parts feel a little bit looser. They don't feel quite as uh, heavy duty as maybe the Husqvarna, which is sort of the high end on the market. And that's what I'm gonna be comparing it to. So this is actually the uh, 540LI XP rear handle version. I have the top handled version of the 536LI XP, which was the older one, uh, but this is more com comparable in voltage and in, in quality and the ability to cut. So 36 volt, use your standard Makita batteries, uses two of them. I wouldn't use anything smaller than the five amp hour batteries and it goes through these pretty quickly. Um, uh, it's similar to a tank of gas if you like to idle your saw. So if you're not always turning your saw off, it'll probably last about the same amount of time, similar number of cuts, especially if you're using small pruning cuts. Uh, this will cut, make a lot, a lot, a lot of small pruning cuts. What really eats up the battery is the, the big deep ones. Um, for whatever reason, it just doesn't get much actual cutting time when you're making full on heavy duty, full bar length cuts. So the Makita, right now I've got a slightly shorter bar on it than the Husqvarna, um, but I find that they cut pretty similarly. My guess is that this is somewhere in the neighborhood of 85, 90% of as effective of a cutter as that. That's been my experience anyway. It's a little bit hard to tell because this is rear handle, this is top handle, so you actually get a little more leverage with this one. But this one tends to bind up, sorry, the Makita tends to bind up and stop when it's uh, buried, when the bar is buried or if it gets pinched or bound up at all. So it doesn't, uh, it tends to be a little bit more intermittent. The, uh, the over, what do they call it, the overload feature tends to kick in a little bit earlier and a little bit more easily than on the Husqvarna. Again, I remind you, this is less than half the price of this, even though it's fairly comparable in function. The weight is very comparable. I couldn't say I know offhand which one is lighter. If, the, if one is, it's a matter of ounces. Uh, it's not significant. I would say this one's got the uh, power mode and then eco mode. I don't ever use it, the eco mode. It's just run it at full power. We love to have the Husqvarna just sitting there by the chipper. Makes a great chipper saw. Um, and I'll use it up in the tree occasionally. But as far as the, the battery endurance goes, fairly comparable. As far as the cutting goes, I think this guy's got the edge. We'll do a little experiment. I've got used blades on both of these, used chains. Um, and so it's not a perfect dead even experiment. I'm not gonna go through the trouble to do that, but I'll show you, it'll give you a general idea. I've just sharpened them both. Um, and they're both probably similar in the amount of use that they've got on them, although they're both freshly sharpened. Uh, more than that, I don't have a whole lot to say. If you've already got Makita tools, obviously it's fantastic to have the, to be able to use the same batteries, assuming you've got the five amp hour ones. I uh, wouldn't use any smaller batteries. They just would die too fast. And same with the 540 LIXP. If you have the older Husqvarna top handle saw, the I think it's the 36, uh, was it 536 LIXP with the 200 uh, BLI 200 batteries, those won't actually run this very well at all, if at all. Uh, so my old batteries for the old saw, I had two of them. That was like a $900 purchase when I bought it, the old top handle uh, Husqvarna. And I can't use those batteries anymore. They just don't function on this saw. It, it needs the, the X, the more advanced batteries. So that's another uh, little extra cost there. I think those batteries are about $150 a piece. And you have to buy them separately. So this whole outfit, two batteries in the charger, is somewhere around $1,100, um, $1,200 maybe, depending on where you get it from. Whereas this whole outfit with four batteries, so similar, two sets of batteries, with a charger, the double charger, I think I got it for less than 500 bucks. Um, I think I got it with the batteries were on sale, so I got some extra batteries with it too. So 
much, much cheaper. We're gonna do a little head-to-head -head cutting, uh, get to see what the times are on this chunk of oak right here. I'm not gonna bury the bar. We'll do three cuts each as fast as I can. And uh, you guys can draw some conclusions for yourselves in this very unscientific test. I think any difference in that cutting speed, it felt to me like this was maybe a little bit slower, but that's probably a matter of sharpening difference. Like that could have very well been made up just with slightly different sharpening. They run the same chain, both of them. Nice thin uh, 043 gauge chain. So there you go. Hope you find that helpful. Um, I decided not to buy the top handle version of this after I bought this. Uh, I got this in the interim because I think the value on this guy is good enough to where I'm not worried about it. And I'm not worried about the difference in cutting power. This is my go-to. I like having lots of these batteries. I use the blower, I use the other tools. And I'll probably get another one of these here soon, as soon as this one poops out. But I've had it for, uh, what, two thirds of a year now, and it's been great. So hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me here at Strider Tree Gear. And uh, stay safe out there, at least safer than me with my stupid lack of eyewear. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.